Welcome to Spirit Talks, because your spirit talks to you. Welcome to Spirit Talks. I'm Susie Byler. And I'm Maximilian Haver. Our Spirit Talk topic today is the term New Age. Thanks for joining us and enjoy. So tell me, Max, what is your understanding of the term New Age? New Age was originally a term created to define a broad spectrum of exploring spirituality outside of religion, which, I mean, has been going on for a long time. Um, but there's there's certain common themes that, that tend to be followed by a group of people, and so they decided to term it New Age. And so eventually it became a popular term that's used by a lot of people, and it usually nowadays refers to more the social aspects. Um, there are, you know, the common ideas that are practiced and shared, but it's it tends to be within more of a social setting of their outward expression with the ego. So, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? A social? I never heard that before. What? Say more about that. <laughs> well. Where they're where they're engaging in that culture as as a form of social engagement, and so while there is aspects of it where they focus on personal growth and inner relationship with their self, there there is also that that outward social engagement of of that culture and those ideas well, that they well, share. When practice. you say culture, what do you mean? Like people who uh, do ceremonies and burn sage and like what do you mean by right. the new so, age culture? What's that? So it, again, you can pr do these practices without that social engagement of it. You can do this in private. You can do it in a, a setting that's not focused with that same collective energy because these are old practices. They're just being applied under an umbrella culture that's termed as new age and. You know, I mean, that's only if you're associating yourself with that culture. So, yes, practices, uh, you know, kirtans, drumming circles, um, drinking kombucha, <laughs> you know, like it's it's certain tropes like this. But there's there's other things that I mean, and, and these things are used in in other cultures. It's just this collective term that that they're being used, you know. To, to reference the social aspect of what's going on with these events. And in one way, it's, it does tend to be in certain, certain, uh, cir certain social circles, it, it tends to be misled by the ego, where, where there's a competitiveness of spirituality or, or a, a self-validating energy to it, rather than just simply being exposed to the ideas and exploring that inward growth for yourself. So while it does have that aspect, it, it does assist people in awareness of those things to be able to explore. So it is serving a purpose. Well, I've been given the label New Age. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, I don't like it. Right, because... <laughs> I don't ever like being labeled. Yeah. But I feel like what comes through me is ancient wisdom it's relevant here and now it has nothing to do with new age in the way that you've just so eloquently described it it's a weird it's a weird thing you know because i'm just me mm. you know and mm -hmm. to be given a label it's like what right well this is this is a a a simply like a, a very generalized understanding of someone that hasn't gotten to know someone entirely to understand like how their their individual engagement is. So it's like saying if someone is is engaged with with prayer and and they you know they follow uh, religious teachings but they're not part of a church, people will automatically assume that they're part of a church simply because they haven't. Under, come to understand that person and so it's just it's so whenever what what you're disliking about it is the energy of the negative connotations yes. that they've bundled with yeah. that 
that view of someone. Yeah. And so you're feeling the energy of it. And right. yeah, and so exactly. that's, and you're like, don't project that towards me. That's right. Yeah. So, what would you call this time? Like, a lot of people would call this the new age. I've heard this time referred to as the, the dawning of the golden age. Mm -hmm. What would you call this time that we're in? Well, do you wish to label the time in particular because it's always shifting? Do you want to, <laughs> like, I mean, that's a choice. You could call it anything you want, really. Um, you could say it's it's the age, maybe in maybe in a very specific way. You could say it's it's an age of where more people are focusing inward and connecting with their higher aspects or their spirit or their soul or however outside of the context of religion. Now that's just a description of it. You can give it whatever name you want. Well, in some ways, I believe the time we're in now is a new age because a lot of things will be unfolding that we've never seen even in our you know past lifetimes so in some ways it's kind of appropriate mm -hmm. right so this is how 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 accepted is i mean are you okay with using that term with the same verbiage the same literal like, verbal expression of the of the name but meaning something different are you fine with that even though other people will misunderstand that i still don't really like the term <laughs> all right so you're sensing the energy about it though that's why yeah. you're not liking it yeah because it's it, you're willing to say it because you're like well it's it is a new age so you can call it a new age yeah. but then you're not liking the energy that the collective has put on it so you're sensing well, that that Many Christians have put on it yeah. because those are the ones that's not not, not I mean it's not only as one group it's there's people from all all yeah. kinds of groups that have that that's just been my personal experience yeah and and so if defining it in some way assists you that's that's fine but it's it's not something you have to do you can just say I'm on my path you know I'm exploring my spirituality and I'm having my experience here and that's that's bad like it doesn't it doesn't have to be termed or defined yeah so yeah well this is not what i expected you to say so this is this is good um <laughs> is there anything else you wanted to say in closing up I would advise that not to hold adversity to exploring these ideas because they are associated with a certain group or culture, but to explore it because it resonates with you. Explore it because it is useful for you or it's interesting to you or some in some way you can grow from it. Don't hold don't don't adhere to the adversity others project from that association of those ideas. Very wise words, Max. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us. We'll see you in the next episode. May you explore all new ideas freely and with conscious discernment.